Welcome to EasyCart. In this video tutorial we're going to walk through how to do basic customization. Uh, in our first videos here we walked through how to install EasyCart, how to set up your product, make some simple option sets. Uh, we really got your demo and your basic online store going. But the next step would be how do you customize it? How do you make it look the way you want to and what can EasyCart really do for you? So let's take a look at how to do that. Um, there's lots of tools and lots of different ways to approach this. Uh, the first thing we like to do is what your overall page template can do. Uh, and that really sets up what you can build after that. Uh, in this example you can see we have a sidebar on the left and we've got a three uh, three column layout and that may not be what you need um, in fact if we go to the account page you can see there's no sidebars if we go to the shopping cart there's there's no sidebars here it's just all easy cart stuff so let's take a look at how we can customize this now uh, the first thing I like to do is open your pages within WordPress and you should have your store your cart and your account and so I'm gonna go ahead and open up this store page and usually your theme dictates the page layout uh, this has a template you can have either a full or no sidebar template your theme may have settings like this that say where do you want the sidebar I'm gonna go ahead and change it to no sidebar on my store so it really depends on what your theme can do for the overall layout if I refresh my store you can see I have no sidebars here um, the only thing on the page is our short code so wherever your themes content area is is where we put the information so no sidebar look I've done that already for the account and the shopping cart they look best if there's no sidebar especially in the shopping cart for example um, if you have a sidebar you would actually have another area over here and we already do kind of a two page or two two sidebar look to it so it gets a little awkward and you really want to have all this space in the easy cart shopping cart uh, I think the same is true for the account I like to do no sidebars I like to use the full content area um, across there but sometimes in the store people do like to have a sidebar and they like to add widgets and so you can do that that's the first thing to set up is is your template now let's take a look at the actual layout here we've got three columns you can easily change that from one all the way up to five columns and so there's over here on the left when you're viewing your store you can use our little sl sliding sidebar that lets you design on the store now this whole thing can be turned on and off so if you don't see that you can go to your settings you can go to design and you can enable live design editor okay if you shut that off you will no longer see those um, sidebar and I have to tell you too that sometimes uh, themes have an issue with having things like this so it, that's why we gave you an option to turn it off if it becomes cluttered but this is your your design sidebar uh, it's convenient because you can edit out here what you're doing you can change different product types I'll show you that in a second uh, but right here is columns maybe we want to make this four columns five columns you can see the images get smaller and uh, so on and so forth it just really depends on what you're looking for and what looks best in your theme I'm gonna go ahead and leave this let's say on three columns uh, we also have what's called dynamic image heights for example I always recommend images be set to a consistent height and width for example a thousand by a thousand pixels or 800 by a thousand pixel images so that you have consistency uh, but if you don't if you have for example a short image and then you have a really tall image uh, you could come in and turn off dynamic image heights and you can actually specify exactly how 
how high you want the images to get cut off. Um, you know, again, like I said, I like to leave dynamic image heights on so that it uses the image and makes sure I process images before. So um, let's take a look at some of the other settings here. Uh, we do have some different looks. This is just one design that we offer. Uh, you can pull this down and go to grid type 2 and you can see it changes a lot of the style. Grid type 3. Uh, we also have a list and the list style looks really good if you do it in one column and it gives you kind of a wider more open view it also if you have good descriptions in here they'll start to show up so the list type is kind of a specialty one I'll go back to three columns but you can see there's different looks okay set that back to grid type 1. This is just our default. Uh, another feature we have for design is we have a quick view. And if, it, if, you, if you turn quick view on, you get this little rollover button on your image. And what that does is that allows people to quick view them without actually going into the product. That may be a nice feature that a lot of people like. Okay. So that's quick view on or off. You can also set up your store's main color. Uh, maybe you want red or some, some other color. Uh, I'll go ahead and change it to red and I'll save this. And you may have to refresh your screen to see these. So now some of the features like buttons have gone red. Of course your rollover color is going to be your secondary color. So there is some simple color changes. You can also change your hover effects. Um, and I'll let you play with these again. You can see what they do based on what you're looking for. Okay. Uh, we have other image effects down here as well. Now I'm going to take a look at the uh, individual items. You'll notice they have these little uh, gear icons next to each image. And these are tags. And I'm going to type in hot product. And I'm going to make this a red icon. And you can say you want this to uh, be in the diagonal corner and I'll show you and see so you get this diagonal image Yeah, that one's a little too long let me shorten this let's just call it hot item yeah that one's still a little too long let me go back here and make an adjustment we'll just say on sale yeah still a little too long There we go. So we've got just one little tag that can show up in the corner. Uh, you can change the location. That's a diagonal tag. Uh, you could do a round tag. Tag it in the corner. Uh, again, you could do that for all these different items. Give them special tags if you wanted to. As well as change some of the hover effects. Um, we've got different effects in here where you can you know, lighten them, but you can also flip images if you've got a couple images. It's worth kind of checking out some of the settings there that we have. Okay, uh, another feature we have for design, a lot of people ask is, well, how do I just sort my products? Uh, I've got them designed the way I want to, but maybe you want this, this shirt to be in slot one. And if you're logged in, you'll notice that you get this default sort order button. And this is where you can come in and you can simply move products. Maybe I want to put that shirt, spotted shirt, first. I can simply switch them and now I've got a custom sort order for my products. Okay, So very simple to sort uh, manually your items. Now this little sidebar does give you some nice features, but it's important that you know you can always get to these through your settings and your design section. Okay, and I'm going to refresh this and you'll see here you have your main color and your secondary color. 
Again, you've got a lot of other choices in here, including how many columns you want things, either in the cart, how many columns you want in the product panel. Uh, even the product details can be set up in a different uh, column. So if I click on that, you'll notice there's two columns. You have the image on the left, and you have content on the right. And then always the description and reviews at the bottom. Uh, you may want to switch that um, for tablets or you know for whatever uh, for whatever platform you're using and maybe for desktops you want to go ahead and go with a one column look and if I do that you'll see that it switches to image and then you have all your content details down here that may work in your situation in your theme just depends on what you're looking to do so all of those options you can find here uh, we also have things like, uh, do you want rounded corners? Uh, if I go ahead and go back to my store, I turn that off, you can see I got square corners now. That may look good in your design, or you can have rounded corners. You see how these are just, just a little bit rounded, so are your buttons. Uh, we also have fo uh, fonts coming in from Google. So you can go through here and you can pick whatever uh, font you'd like to pull in and if we refresh the store will go ahead and pull in those fonts based on your styles so you can find one that fits with your theme really well just flip back to my default okay um, some other settings. We have a custom CSS panel. If you're in more of an advanced designer, you can always go through any element. And if you're looking to do something, you probably know how to use the web console uh, where you can highlight an item by hitting Control Shift C. Maybe I want to select this button. And you can go through and actually grab any of the classes off of elements. And I'll just copy that and you can come in here and build custom CSS so that you can uh, customize that way as well. We have a more advanced design template too. Uh, I know some developers have looked for child theme systems where they want to actually program their own custom designs and we have that option here. So that's, that's kind of for a more advanced video tutorial. Uh, for the most part I just want to show you guys how to get in here and do some basic design work either through our design panel or by using our slide out bar. You can change columns, you can sort products, you can get your basic colors switched and usually you will match with your theme really quick uh, design wise with just a few simple five minute setup uh, choices. So that's our basic customization. We have more videos and help for more advanced stuff. Uh, now we're going to take a look at how to set up uh, payment gateways.